Intel, like most of the rest of the tech world, is betting pretty big on AI and machine learning. But here's the thing. Mainstream CPU architectures like x86 and ARM aren't really that great at churning through the code for that sort of stuff. Intel hopes that it has an answer in Loihi, an experimental chip that's modeled on the human brain. But a single Loihi chip isn't particularly powerful. It has about 130,000 simulated neurons, which places it somewhere between a lobster and a fruit fly in terms of complexity. So the next step is to group a bunch of Loihi chips together in a system Intel is calling Pohuiki Beach. These house up to 64 chips on boards that are networked together to create one unified system powered by around 8 million simulated neurons. It's still nowhere near the 86 billion-ish in the average adult human brain, but at least it's approaching the level of zebrafish, so that's something. These chips are very specially focused though, slapping a Pohuiki Beach board in your gaming rig, even if it was possible, wouldn't push your frame rate in Shadow of the Tomb Raider any higher. Instead, these are targeted at things like self-driving cars and prosthetic limbs, where they could potentially speed up tasks like object recognition and tracking, or respond to terrain changes for more secure footing. But it's important to note that neuromorphic chips are a still somewhat unproven technology. While they promise to be up to a thousand times faster than traditional CPUs at certain AI-specific tasks, so far testing hasn't seen that sizable of a boost. But experiments at Rutgers have shown that a Loihi network can perform at the same level as a modern CPU in certain tasks while consuming 100 times less energy. And that could be a huge advantage in something like a self-driving car where battery life and heat are a serious concern. Thanks for watching and for more of the latest tech news, make sure to subscribe to Engadget.